Mantskis back at Millette Hall, and Abdule Haruna started playing basketball when he was four, and since then, he's rarely put down the basketball, until last year, when another Abdule Haruna threatened to keep this Miami Redhawk from Millette Hall. It's funny how sometimes life hits you with something you don't even expect to hit, but you gotta figure it out, and you gotta go through it. Redshirt senior Abdule Haruna grew up in Niemi, Niger. He started playing basketball when he was four. He got serious when he was 15 and came to the U.S. shortly after. He attended prep school in Connecticut, played for a junior college in Idaho, and made his way to Oxford three years ago. But his basketball career came to a screeching halt last summer. Haruna had returned to the U.S. Embassy in Niger to renew his student visa when he ran into trouble. She gave me my passport back and tell me we're going to call you. I'm like, what you mean you're going to call me? I've never been to this situation before. Like, yeah, we're going to call you. There's stuff we have to check. Haruna left the embassy without a visa, stressed and thinking about Miami. He missed the red bricks on campus. He missed seeing the Ron Harper and Wally Zerbiak jerseys hanging in Millette Hall. And he missed his team, who sent him texts daily, wanting to know when he'd be back. When you coming back, what's going on? Like, I'll be there soon. I'll be there soon. I remember one time Ringo hit me like, you keep saying that for the past three months, bro. Like, what's going on? I'm like, bro, I know, but I will be there soon. Like, I couldn't wait to come back. But Haruna had to wait for weeks, then months, hearing nothing from the embassy. Wanting to be ready for when the call eventually came, Haruna worked out hard and played basketball for Niger's national team. I mean, there's no way I could have stopped. You know, it's what I love to do. And when an email came last January, inviting him back to the embassy, he rushed there, finally got his visa, and was on the next plane to Ohio. In a case of mistaken identity, turns out there are two Abdullah Harunas from Niemi. One is a human rights activist reportedly arrested last year during a protest, and the other is a 6'5 Miami Red Hawk who couldn't wait to get back to Oxford. Like, it could be a moment where maybe I, I would never come back to this. It was gonna be over, like, basketball career might be over here, where I could never play my senior year or maybe get my degree. So after that, when I get to play and, you know, work out and do all that, I make sure I'm spending, like, the time and enjoy the time. The NCAA granted Haruna a redshirt season last year. So this year, he's helping his team to achieve its goal of winning the Mid-American Conference in Oxford, Ohio, where he should be. Emily Samanskis for ESPN+.